Then after roasting them or after treating them, you ha you can use uh, it by 100%. If you you are in the country where the you have less uh, where you have uh, less uh, access to soybean, you are free to the, the quantity of the soybean you are supposed to use. You are sub, you can substitute them with the quantity with the same amount. it's another beautiful day once again and you're welcome back to my youtube channel and if you're new to this youtube channel i am abraham uh, the ceo Don't forget to subscribe if you're new so uh in today's video i'm just going to show you uh, the substitute for soya i know how many the people or in the uh, animal husbandry or in the rearing of animals they have been saying that uh the, you cannot layer animal you cannot layer cow you cannot layer sheep you cannot layer goats you cannot layer uh, chickens without soya bean so i'm going to show you the substitute which you can use in in case that you are in a country that doesn't grow soya or where soya is so expensive like now here in uganda uh let's enter in last season the soya bean was at, at slightly uh on the cheaper compared to uh this season this season they did not grow much soya so now soya bean is very expensive so here is how all the secrets i'm using right now to cut costs on my feeds by getting the substitute for soya bean Number one, number one substitute for soya bean is sunflower, but sunflower cannot sub substitute soya bean one hundred percent. It it is only a substitute for soya bean by ten percent. You see, so in the case that you are in the country where there is no uh, or where the soya bean is very expensive, and you can get sunflower, it's free or it's uh, it's you can substitute it by ten percent, meaning that. If you maybe you have using if you have been using like 20 kgs to mix your rations according to your rations if you have been mixing the your feed and you have been putting in like 20 kgs of soya bean so you can reduct 10% of that 20 kgs then you use sunflower but again you have to note you have to take a caution when you're using a sunflower on growing chickens and chicks because sunflower uh, uh reducts or it always inhibit uh, the gross or the fatty acids. So this sunflower always uh, and by deducting the or by reducing the, the formation of fatty acids, it uh, end up uh, making the chickens not doesn't weigh much. You see, so you have to make sure that you use it at least in the chickens which you were making them, which will give you eggs later. Then another substitute for soya bean is cotton. Cotton, cotton seed cake but you have to take a caution when you're using cotton seed cake because these people you most of the time they use cotton seed cake day and it is not recommended in poultry or in animal husband because it is slightly poisonous because the moment you go in the store where you're buying feeds and you find that the cotton is a little bit like brown that cotton never use it just go and buy somewhere else because it is poisonous it first in like in poultry, it leads to decoloration of the eggs of egg yolk of egg yolk. It means that your egg yolk are going to rock color. And when you're selling eggs, first thing they consider is the color of the yolk. Because the moment the color of the yolk is yellow, they consider those eggs to be organic. So when the the color of your yolk is white, they consider those eggs to be commercial and you sell to, to the normal price. So you just consider you just imagine if your yolk color is doesn't have any car you see doesn't belong to any car it means that uh you're going to lose market and your customers are not going to come back so the soya bean uh, i mean i mean the cotton which you have to use uh when you are uh when you are mixing or when you want to substitute for soya bean you have to make sure that you use uh the cotton that is slightly black at least the, the cotton, when you get the cotton that is slightly black, that cotton is safe to be used. Then it can be substitute for soya bean by 50%. If you are using 20 kilograms of the soya bean in your rations, you can use 10 kilograms 
of soya bean and 10 kilograms of cotton then you can still have the results as you have been having in case you are not have access to soya bean for soya bean is ginats and again ginats has the traps inhibitor that, that, that like the one that is in soya bean so the way you have been decodicating or treating or roasting or steaming soya bean is the same way you have to steam uh, or you have to decodicate or roast uh, genets. Then after roasting them or after treating them, you have you can use uh, it by 100%. If you you are in the country where the you have less uh, where you have uh, less uh, access to soya bean. You are free to the, the quantity of the soya bean you are supposed to use. You are sub, you can substitute them with the quantity with the same amount of the genets you can be using, and you immediately uh, get the amount. You can you immediately get the same results like the way you have been getting in your chickens. If you have seen this video, if you you have got information from this video, don't hesitate to like this video, smash the notification bell, and subscribe if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel, and share it with a friend so that you can also get this information, and catch you soon in the next episode.